Okay, folks, so welcome to the third lesson in this unit. Um, we're gonna talk about the sub selection tool in Gravit. This is also called the direct selection tool in Adobe Illustrator, okay? So here I have a normal rectangle shape. Remember, you are just doing the quiz on uh, quizzes right now. You're not doing the assignment right now. Okay, so here I have a rectangular shape. If I click on this, um, the pointer tool just allows me to resize. It doesn't allow me to select the anchor point. These are called anchor points. It doesn't allow me to select the anchor points individually. If I choose the sub select tool, it does give me these, um, these little red dots right here, which actually, if I pull them in, it changes the rectangle into a circle. Okay, that's not super exciting because I can actually make a circle um, if I wanted to. What I wanna do instead is I wanna click here then I wanna click on this little, um, this tool right here, it says convert to path. So I'm gonna do that. Now, when I go back to the sub select and I can also press on my keyboard, I can press the shortcut key of D, D as in dog. Okay. I notice that the, when I click on here, the anchor point, which used to be filled in with blue is now filled in with white. Okay, so I can click on these individually so right now this anchor point is selected and not the other ones. I can click and drag this around just by itself. Okay, so I can reshape, um, I can reshape the shape one anchor point at a time. All right, so I can make lots of different shapes. Now, another thing that I can do is I can click on an individual anchor point. And again, you should be on the subselect tool, not on the pointer tool, okay? That's the pointer tool is not gonna, it, the pointer tool, tool selects the entire object, whereas the sub-select allows you to click on a single anchor point. It's a very big distinction. Another nice thing I can do is I once, once one is selected, I get this option that I can change, I can convert the anchor point to different types of anchor points. Right now it is um, one that's very angled, okay? I can connect, uh, I can click here and what happens is it turns it into like a rounded anchor point. So it just ends up being like a, a curve, right? If I went back here, you can see it's, it meets in two straight lines. This, this point right here meets in two straight lines as opposed to this where the, um, the point now meets with two curves. And I can adjust how wide the curve is by pulling out these, little tabs right here, okay? And I can adjust the curvature by pulling them in. I can just rework like the way the curve looks by pulling them all around. So right now, since this anchor point is converted to a curve, I have these additional um, little handles here that I can pull. If I pull them out, it makes the curve fatter. If I pull them in, it makes it more narrow. If I change the angle here, it will change the curve. Oops, yeah, this is good that I, that is asked me to do this. We'll just call this lesson three notes. It's, you're not following along with me, so you are not gonna get this. You're just doing the, um, you're doing the quizzes, check for understanding while I'm doing this. So that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to show you how to use the sub select tool because that's going to allow you to do the assignment, okay? So now we're gonna talk about the assignments, right? So if I go to the assignment right here, you're gonna find that this, um, this selection tool is gonna to be super helpful for you, okay? So here, what I'm going to do, this is a color by number picture of SpongeBob and Patrick, right? Now Patrick's body is pink, SpongeBob, of course, his body is yellow and Patrick's pants are this green color. Okay, I want it to look, um, so I want it to all be colored, okay? Now, these have already been converted to a path, so you don't have to do that right now. I just created these like 20-sided figures in order to, um, to fill it in. You're going to essentially do a color by number, okay? Um, okay, well, I actually wanna keep that, keep this little situation locked down because that's the, file underneath it. You don't want this unlocked and so you're able to move it because that's not going to be helpful. Just keep this one locked down. That little 
lock icon means that it is locked in place. Okay, now what I want to be able to do is I wanna be able to move it. All right, so right now I, I'm trying to move the circle, I can't figure out why, and it's because I'm on the sub, sub select tool. If I wanna move it all as a whole, I can use the pointer tool. Um, I want to zoom in, so I'm gonna click on this little zoom feature here to zoom in. All right, and essentially I'm gonna start by one. So if you were doing this color by number, what you would do is, and let me choose a sub select tool, you would start at one and you draw a line from one to two, then from two to three, three to four, and so on. And then you would you draw all the line to enclose the pants and then you would um, color it in, right? Well, we're going to, all the colors are all here. All we're doing is pulling the anchor points down to the um, situation here, like down to the numbers in order. So there's five, six, now seven is tricky because it's beyond 10. So just keep going seven, eight, we got nine here, then pull this one back to 10. Okay, then pull this one to 11. You'll see that it creates the legs, 12. So just pull them in order, right? You're going around the 20-sided uh, figure in order, right? So there's 11, there's 13, and sometimes it overlaps, but just keep going and you'll see that it will, it will write itself. So 15, there's 16. 17, 18, 19, and 20 is way over. He, actually, 20 is the start of his, of Patrick's, um, the top part of him, okay? Uh, Patrick's skin. So this right here, this point, you're gonna actually bring down to Patrick's belly. And this last point, you wanna convert into a, um, a curve. Okay, and then you can pull this up to try to match the belly right here. All right, and there you have Patrick. And then you can move the, the pink part that represents his body right here. And then do the same thing for the top where you're going um, start at 19. Uh, then it will like fully enclose the figure and then you're gonna make your way around. Okay, so you'll uh, when you get to 35 and 36, it's a little awkward, so just notice that I'm pulling this up to 35 and then I'm pulling this up to 36. Okay. 37, 38. Okay. And then 39 is actually SpongeBob. I gave you a few extra points because you're going to drag them down to complete Patrick's body like this. Um, and then I want you to convert these points to rounded points. Okay, and kind of try to bring it in so Patrick's body and SpongeBob's body have a little place to go. Okay, and then click here, convert that to a, um, a curve and it will better match the situation there. Don't worry if there's a little bit of overlap. So here, if I zoom out, you can see Patrick. It's a little awkward, Patrick doesn't quite look like that, but it gets you to the place where you need to go. And then do the same thing for SpongeBob's body. So. Is Patrick's body ended um, at 38. So just bring this around starting at 38. Okay, and then at the end, I have given you a few more points so that you can finish off SpongeBob. Okay, so just put these points into the different parts of his body. Let's see. And we will try to make it like that. And there is SpongeBob. I know it's not perfect, but um, it's achieved the goal of having you guys work um, on these little tiny anchor points one by one. And so your, uh, the final result should look something like this. And I'm really looking to see that mostly the color is in the place that it needs to be and that you have converted some of the points to rounded points or to curves um, so that you can round off Patrick's belly. And of course, once you have done that, make sure you file uh, save to cloud as you wanna do a lesson, this is lesson three, sub selection tool, and then you wanna call it, um, you wanna call it by your name, first and last name, okay? You save it and then you go to file, share, share file, okay? Make sure that you have allowed me to be the developer. Otherwise I can't help you. Um, I can't like work with your figures to show you anything on your work if you need it. 
then copy and this is what you pass in. Okay, have fun.